So gang, this video is gonna be about a day in the life of yours truly. Hopefully you give a damn. If you've never been here before, my name is Rob, I'm an educator. I'm a entrepreneur, I'm a business owner, but my main goal is to make sure that each one of you guys watching this video gets certified and gets an IT. So this is going to be my daily routine, what I get into, so let's get straight into how my morning starts. So when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is thank the big guy for waking me up. Then after that, I meditate for about 10 minutes. And right after that, I usually read a few pages out of a book. Then after that, I go work out. So let's go get some gains. Hey gang, about to run here and get a quick haircut. Be right back. Just got finished getting a cut. About to go home, change, and get ready for a bunch of, well, I'm actually about to go live. Hey gang, in this video is gonna be me doing a quick little Q&A, a quick little live on my Instagram going over the things that you need to do to pass the certification. All right, so if you see me looking at my phone, that's what I'm doing. About to actually go live right now. All right, I got my guy uh, checking in from St. Louis. Got True Boss sliding through from Jersey. Who else is in here? I'm trying to see if we got anybody from the uh, United Kingdom because they've been giving me a lot of love uh, lately. A lot of love. All right, we got uh, DC in here. We got Los Angeles. Um, hey, gang, if y'all just sliding through right now, if y'all coming through right now, right now, just do me a huge favor and tell me where you're checking in from. Tell me where you're checking in from. But I just wanted to um, come and talk to you guys about uh, passing your certification, right? So this is going to be super quick. Uh, probably maybe 15, 20 minutes, but um, I just felt like I needed to come give you guys some game because if you've been following me, if you've been watching uh, my YouTube videos and stuff like that, the landscape, right? The landscape of IT is changing super fast. Um, things are going really, really quick, right? So before we had a local, a local um, job market, right? Now with um, Corona, uh and all this other crazy stuff um we kind of have more of a global market right so you're not just competing with the people in your neighborhood the people in your city um you're actually competing with every damn body right so you have to up your skill set you have to up your skill set you have to up your skill set you have to sharpen whatever tools that you have you need to continue to add uh, tools to your toolbox so um, the first thing you need to do, um, if you see me looking down or see me looking over, um, it's just that I got a few notes. Just want to make sure I don't forget nothing. So the first thing you got to do, I always tell you guys, you got to start, right? You have to make the decision to actually make something happen, right? You can talk, uh, I want to do this, I want to do that, but you got to actually make the decision that um, you want to make something happen, right? So you have to start. So when you start your journey, you need the first, the first thing you need to figure out is what shirt am I looking for? What the hell shirt do I want? What the hell shirt uh, is going to be most beneficial for me? Uh, what do I need to do? So on and so forth. So figure out, do I want to get A plus? Do I want to get net plus? Do I want to do some clown stuff? Do I want to do project management? You got to figure out where should I start and what should I do? Um, next thing, you need to figure out what exactly is on the test, right? You need to figure out what's going to be on the test. Uh, is it going to be talking about networking? Is it going to be more about security? Is it going to be more about hardware? Is it going to be more about software? You have to figure out what things are actually going to be on the actual exam, right? Uh, next thing, um, you need to figure out what kind of job can you actually get once you get to certification. Now, uh, just to uh, have a caveat or just to have uh, a side note to that, what kind of job can you get with that? Just remember that Whatever certification you have, it doesn't mean that that's going to guarantee you a job. It doesn't mean that nobody owes you anything or nothing like that, right? But if you get a certain certification, a lot of times it's going to improve your chances of getting a job. So you need to figure out, okay, if I get this piece of paper, what kind of job can I apply for? What kind of job um, will be available to me, right? Uh, next thing, 
which is something that shit a lot of y'all forget. I don't know why, but uh, how much the certification is, right? So it's cool to study. It's cool to do all that type of stuff, but you need to figure out, okay, am I willing to make the uh, financial investment that I need to make to get the certification? Do I even have the bread? I'm going to be able to invest that into um, the certification. Uh, the next thing is um, how long should it take me to actually get certified, right? How long do I think it's going to take me to get certified and to get this certification, right? Uh, if you guys are just joining, please tell me where you're checking in from. Uh, I would appreciate it. So um, if you're just joining, um, we're talking about uh, what you need to do to get certified, right? So the things I think you need to do to get certified. So the first thing is start. Next thing is um like I said, how long should it take you to actually get the certification? Now, this is all dependent upon you and uh, your motivation, your determination and that type of kind of stuff. Right. But you need to just figure out, OK, what do I need to do? What do I need to do and how long is it going to take for me to get certified? Uh, last but not least, you need to make sure that you're using the right material. Right. Make sure that you're using stuff that's up to date. Make sure that you're using stuff that uh, makes sense. Right. Because sometimes people actually are using outdated material right or they're using the wrong material altogether it might not even be material that is for the current version of the exam so make sure that you're using the proper material and the right material all right uh, next thing and last thing make sure that you study for at least one hour a day make sure that you're studying for at least one hour every day all right one hour every day at a minimum and the first 15 minutes of that study session should be, okay, what is my objective? What am I actually trying to accomplish at the end of the study session? So whether it's to learn binary, whether it's to learn ports and protocols, you need to have an, uh, uh, a very direct um, goal at the end. Okay, so I'm gonna study for an hour, first 15 minutes, what should I have learned by the end of this, right? Uh, next up, uh, you need to set a test deadline, right? So if you start studying today, 30 days from now, I'm taking a test. 45 days from now, I'm taking a test. 60 days from now, I'm taking a test. Make sure that you set that deadline so you have a hard deadline. Because if you don't set a deadline, a lot of times you'll say you'll get certified, but you'll never actually take the exam. And my last piece of advice, uh, last but not least, is actually take the damn test. That's it. That's all. So I'm going to go ahead and respond to these 53 emails, which is, you know, the funnest thing in the world. I won't bore you guys with that. So now I'm gonna go through my social media. I try not to even look at um, my social media at all until 12 o'clock because it can definitely become a distraction. So I just run through it. I spend about maybe 30, 45 minutes um, looking through comments, looking to see if I need to respond to anybody, if I need to post anything, if I need to do anything like that because social media, hear me clearly, it's wonderful, it's a great tool, but it can, definitely be a time suck and a time uh waster you can definitely spend your whole damn life looking for some likes bars it is lunchtime. i usually don't eat until one o'clock because i do intermittent fasting if you don't know what the hell that is google it but let's go ahead and get something to eat right now i don't know about you but food makes me very happy so now I got a meeting, a team meeting that I have, even though we're a super small company, you know, I got a really good team. So there's some stuff that we need to go over. So let me go ahead and start this meeting. Talk about all the fun we about to have. Right, 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 right. Well, I'm hoping that maybe around like quarter, quarter, what? <laughs> no, yeah, right. So I'm hoping maybe around like quarter, well, not hoping, around quarter three i think like in-person stuff i think we should start moving towards that stuff again because the, by then you know whoever got the shot got the shot whoever ain't got the damn shot ain't got the shot and i think it'll be you know people will be a little bit more um willing and open to because honestly people are already open to it right now you know because you know because i know you said that they asked you about the boot camps and stuff so you know i think we should start moving towards that but i think uh, we should probably start talking about it now, right? Just to see, you know, just to make sure that we got enough uh, interest to move forward. But I would say shit by maybe July, June, July, we should start doing live online. And then uh, a little bit after that, start going on doing the uh, in-person bootcamp. All right, gang, that's it, that's all. So what I do at night is 
pretty much get ready for the next day. So I write down the stuff that I'm gonna do tomorrow, set my clothes out for the gym, set my clothes out that I'm gonna wear. And after that, man, I just hang out with my family and uh, try and decompress. So one, uh, what time is it? It is 7.27. So usually I try and be done by seven o'clock. So I've been up since 5.30, I try and tap out by at least uh, seven o'clock. Now, before I used to damn go hard. I used to I used to work like, I used to work if there wasn't no work time, like literally couldn't see, right? And that's not good, that's not healthy. You gotta have some kind of balance. But if you haven't done anything, if you haven't accomplished uh, any of your goals or even started working towards that, there may be a period in time, there may be um, a season in your life where you gotta go hard as hell, right? Pretty much, you gotta, shit. You gotta, <laughs> I'm not scared, that didn't scare me. And the comments drop, what time do you usually tap out of work? What time do you get off of work? Do you do nine to five? Do you do 10 to six, two jobs to survive? What do you do, what do you do? Do you have uh, a 24 hour shift or what do you do? Other than that, I'll see you in class.